the all-new Ryzen 7040 series. Whoa. Amazing. Is this will be... Now, you guys know we always use CES oh, to announce our new notebook DNA products. 3. And this Amazing. is our next-generation processor for ultra-thin notebooks. And it's the industry's first mobile x86 processor to integrate a dedicated on-chip AI engine, which we call Ryzen AI. Mm -hmm. It features up to eight Zen, core, Zen 4 cores, our latest RDNA 3 graphics, and our new Ryzen AI engine that runs four dedicated AI streams simultaneously, delivering up to 12 trillion AI operations per second. Thank you very much. As you guys know, I love showing chips. So here is the all new 7040. Amazing. This chip uses four nanometer process technology and it has more than 25 billion transistors, almost twice as many as our. So guys, uh, we have uh, new RDNA tree, um, four nanometer and uh, eight, eight core, 16 thread, uh, new Ryzen for uh, a mobile CPU from AMD. 6,000 generation. Go. Take good care of it, please. <laughs> so let's take a look at some of the performance. You can see that the Ryzen 7040 is significantly faster than both our x86 competition as well as Apple. In CPU intensive workloads like Cinebench, we're delivering up to 34% more performance for creators. In it so, uh New Ryzen is 34% uh, faster, even faster than Apple. I, we outperform the Apple M2 by 20%, while our x86 competition doesn't have an on-chip dedicated. So IE on AMD is outperforming uh, Apple M2 CPU. Engine. And then when you look at gaming, we're more than 20% faster. So let's take a look at some of that performance in action. What we're showing here is a time-lapse video of the popular Blender rendering application. On the right is our top of stack Ryzen 7040 CPU with Apple's best in the middle and Intel's highest end ultra thin chip on the left. I'm gonna let the demo go for just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So as the demo completes for AMD, what we see is the Ryzen system is 30% faster than Apple and 45% faster than our x86 competition. And this just shows you the tremendous overall performance. But it's not only about performance, it is very much about battery life. So with our four nanometer process technology, and frankly, our designers have been spending a tremendous amount of effort. So guys, uh, take a look at this. I want to uh, just return a little bit. A little bit. Here is a time-lapse video of the popular Blender rendering application. On the right is our top of stack Ryzen 7040 CPU with Whoa. Apple's best in the middle the new Ryzen and is, Intel's highest end crushing. Ultra thin chip on the left. It's uh, totally I'm destroying go for just a little bit. Uh, MNO Pro. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa Su is joking Apple on Intel. So as the demo completes for AMD, what we see is the Ryzen system is 30% faster than Apple and 45% faster than our x86 competition. And this just shows you the tremendous overall performance. But it's not only about performance, it is very much about battery life. So with our four nanometer process technology, and frankly, our designers have been spending a tremendous amount of effort trying to optimize power across the entire design, the Ryzen 7040 series will enable more than 30 hours of battery life. Whoa, 30 hours of uh, video playback on uh, 7040, that's amazing. Like, I never saw such a things before. Which is just simply fantastic. <laughs> now, 
Now, what I'm most excited about with the new 7040 is actually the rising AI capability. As I said, this is brand new for us to integrate on chip. And what it does is it'll actually open up a whole new set of experiences for our users. Things like more lifelike collaboration experiences with enhanced audio and video. Um, think about you know, content creation being much more productive or gaming performance being more real time. And even when you think about security, we can use AI to change the way we monitor security. So there's a lot of excitement in the industry around our Ryzen 7040 series. You're going to hear from some of our partners. But I wanted to make sure that you guys saw that the first Ryzen 7040 notebooks will be available in March. And we will have more than... So they are starting shipping this in March 2023. 250 ultra-thin gaming and commercial notebook designs spanning our entire Ryzen 7000 series portfolio on track to launch this year. In ADP gaming. But what we're doing with the 7945HX is to take that to a different level of performance. What we're seeing is, on average, 24% higher performance across a range of popular games. And when you look at content creation and productivity applications, when we compare against our competition, those 16 Zen 4 cores are delivering significantly more performance. Wow, the world's more powerful mobile processor, 7045HX. So AMD is giving us a 16 core real true mobile killer more than 50% faster across a wide range of applications that will enable creators to accomplish so much more with this notebook. Now, the 7945X enables a different category of mobile laptops for gaming and content creation, but we're also bringing new mobile gaming GPUs to the market today. The RDNA 3 that we launched in the desktop, we're now launching our first products in laptops with our new Radeon RX 7000 mobile GPUs. And what we're doing here, the first chip in the series, the RX 7000 series for gaming and creator laptops, is the new Radeon 7600M XT. And what we have here is 32 RDNA 3 compute units, 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, and a configurable power that allows us to adjust for the best balance of performance and battery life across a wide range of system designs. So let's take a look at some of the performance here. What we see for these guys in 1080p, the 7600M actually delivers next level performance in its class with 26% faster frame rates on average compared to the competition. So basically they are comparing uh, desktop 3060 with uh, a mobile RX 7600, so amazing. I, I can see Metro Exodus plus 23%, Cyberpunk 23% plus uh, Resident Evil Village and The Witcher 3, they are faster than even equivalent uh, desktop parts, so amazing. Amazing job from AMD. Now, you're going to see these guys in the market very, very soon. So we'll have Ryzen 7945 and Radeon 7600 MXT laptops starting in February. And you'll see even more gaming notebooks coming later this year. In so basically, they are putting this monster mobile 16-core processor into, uh, in February into these uh, selected brands. Some new AMD... So... That's Alienware and also Asus popular two series gaming laptops. Ditch notebooks. Okay, lots of systems will be out there, but now let's move into desktops. And I know a few of you may be waiting for some desktop chips, perhaps, right? Yes? No? Maybe? <laughs> so... One of the biggest recent invent, um, innovations in gaming PCs has been our introduction of... So they are presenting their, IMD presenting now their uh, X3D series of uh, added additional vCache, uh, 3D stacked vCache to the uh, Ryzen uh, new, uh, new desktop platform. So let's see. 3D vCache memory technology in our Ryzen 5800 X3D CPUs last year. 
What we did is we used 3D packaging to stack memory on top of CPUs to deliver substantially more performance in gaming. When Ryzen 7 uh, 5800X 3D launched, it launched as the world's fastest gaming processor. And tonight, I'm very excited to announce that we are now bringing 3D vCache technology to our Ryzen 7000 processors. The Ryzen 7 7800X3D is eight cores, 16 threads, up to five gigahertz frequency, and 104 megabytes of cache, which more than doubles the cache compared to the Ryzen 7700X non-X3D uh, non version. And these larger caches are important, especially in gaming. Now, let's take a look at some of this performance. The 7800X3D delivers, on average, 15% more performance than the 5800X3D across popular games. Is that okay? <laughs> but guys, as great as the 7800X3D is, I've had a lot of our fans asking me for even higher end options. So for tonight, I'm very happy to announce that we're also bringing 3D vCache technology to 12 and 16 core Ryzen 7000 processors. Whoa. So we have 7950X3D now. We've been working hard uh, on this. 79... The Ryzen 9 7950X3D is our first 16-core Ryzen processor with vCache technology and our fastest 3D stack chip ever. It so features 16 high-performance CPU cores, boost speeds up to 5.7 gigahertz, and a huge 144 megabyte cache. So let's take a look at some of this performance. In 1080p gaming performance versus the competition, you can see that the 7950X3D is faster across a... So it's mashing into i9, uh, 3900K. So I can imagine what Hackintosh I can build with this processor. ...wide range of games consistently delivering much higher frames per second, which makes this the ultimate processor for gamers and creators. So, when you think about processors, you also need great games. And what I'd like to show you now is one of the most anticipated new games of 2023, Star Wars Jedi Survivor from our friends at Respawn. You know, this title has actually been developed on Ryzen, and it's been optimized for Ryzen processors. So let's take a look at some gameplay footage. Amazing. That looks great, doesn't it? So I'm very excited to announce that we will be bundling the game with our select Ryzen 7000 series CPUs starting later this month. And when I look at all of these things, what I'm very happy to say is we're going to have an incredible portfolio for you with Ryzen desktop processors. The new 7800, 7900, and 7950X3D parts will launch in February. So basically, they will have... Uh... Uh, 70, 79, uh, 7800 X3D, 7900 X3D, and 7950 X3D. So, um, these uh, CPUs, uh, processor 8, 12, and 16 cores. So, all of them with uh, 120 watts TDP. Amazing, AMD is really strong, really strong here. So I don't see how Intel will respond with this. And also they are crushing Apple with their new Ryzen 4, 4 nanometer CPU, so amazing. And we are also launching new low power 65 watt Ryzen 7000 processors and an expanded portfolio of entry level AM5 motherboards that will make Ryzen the best CPU at every price point in the desktop market. Amazing. So they are launching also low-power version of Ryzen, 
which will be not overclockable, but it will be 65 watt TDP. So let's switch gears now and trans. Okay. So uh, that was the news, guys. Uh, we had uh, amazing new uh, 4 nanometer mobile CPU, amazing new 16 core mobile uh, processor for the laptops. Uh, we never saw this before. AMD gave us first 16-core uh, laptop, uh, 32 threads, and this amazing new uh, 3D stack uh, Ryzen desktop processors. So I think uh, 2023 will be huge, big year for AMD, and they will profit a lot. Thank you for watching, and that was the news uh, for today uh, from uh, Tech uh, 2023. Uh, if you like the news and uh, to watch more um, uh, videos about uh, Tech, uh, Internet of Things, uh, modding computers, uh, building a custom uh, Hackintosh uh, modded uh, Apple, uh, Mac Pro or stuff like this, uh, please subscribe and comment uh, below. Thank you guys. Uh, have a great day.